Hello everyone, today we're going to be upgrading this 22H2 Windows 10 Professional to long-term updates of LTSC IoT, which means we're going to be getting updates to, I think, about year 2032, which will be right here, wherever it is I put it on the screen, is when you're going to be receiving updates for Windows 10, because as you know of it, Windows 10 is currently end-of-life support. So without further ado, let's get started. This could be done on a real machine, however I'm using a virtual machine to show you the, the start of the process and all the way through the end. So first, you're going to want to get these two right here on your own computer. Windows 10 I IoT Enterprise LTS-C and you're going to get Rufus. What you're going to do, grab a USB stick in your house, which any one of them will do. Go ahead, plug it into your computer. Open up Rufus. Now what you're going to want to do, click your USB drive, select, or drag and drop. And you're going to burn, you're going to go ahead and write it to your USB. Once that's finished, click out. Then you're going to want to go to your, go to here. And let's just act like I attach this to my, there you go. You're going to go here. You're going to go here. Don't click setup yet. Go to reg edit. You're going to want to go to local machine, software, Microsoft. Scroll down till you find Windows NT. Go here and click on the folder current version. What you're going to want to do, click here. First, order a business. Once you're on here, you're going to want to disconnect from your internet. Just make sure it's offline. What you're going to want to do, I, lower space, lower space O, and then capital T, capital E, enterprise, S. Spell it just like that. Once you got that, click OK, click out, and go ahead with your setup. The reason why we disabled the internet is because occasionally it will cert it will connect to the internet and verify its own Windows instance, which will change it back to the way it was. And we need it to change it too because this doesn't support upgrading, you know, consumer edition ISOs because consumer edition is for, you know, your regular people. And this IOT is mainly for business, for enterprise. We're just going to allow it to start up right here. Just so you know, just pretend all that was on the computer because you don't need a VM for this. You could just write it to your own USB all on your host. Then you're just going to click next here. Then you go Windows 10 setup and just allow it to check for updates, which I believe will not work because we are not connected to internet. All right. Now they're on the screen right here, ready to install. It's going to allow us to keep personal files and apps. So you will have no data loss. So we're just going to write something quick here. Just put like, just try an example. You're not going to lose any data. I promise you that. I'm going to click next and it's going to install Windows 10 IoT LTSC. Just wait for a little bit and you'll be rebooted back to the screen. All right. As you can see here, it says your PC will restart in several minutes. This might take a while. I'm just going to allow it to restart. There it goes. All right. Here comes our computer booting back up again. Should be no problems. It'll give you this screen working on updates. Just allow it to do it. All right, after a while, our computer should boot up a couple of times, boot or restart, and it's gonna continue working on updates. Don't worry, it's gonna go right through them. Just as it says, your PC will restart several times.
All right, after countless restarts and everything, we're just going to be booted back into the Windows. It's going to prepare Windows just like it was for when we set it up, and we're just going to allow it to do its thing all right, right over again. Finally, after all that countless restarting and updating, we should be back on our win Windows machine. So you can see it kept our personal files just right here. I'm going to check Windows Explorer, everything looked correct, everything looks good. We're going to check Winver. And we're booted back to 21H2, the Windows 10 IoT Enterprise LTSC operating system and its interface are being controlled by the trademark and under pending or existing, you know, the whole shebang. I'm going to look here, this should be us. Let's see if it checked our... See if it changed any sort of our username. And we should be all good. And about this warning right here. Hello, this is me from the future while editing this video. I was looking at the end and realized I can actually show you how to activate it. You want to go to your web browser. You want to go to massgrave.dev. Immediately going to be on this screen, Microsoft Activation Scripts. You're going to listen to the instructions right here. Open PowerShell as administrator. Click yes. You're going to copy this command. Paste it right into PowerShell. And if this command doesn't work, what you're going to want to do, use this command down here. Then after that, you're going to be greeted with this screen. Press number three, and you're going to press number five. Now, I already did it. Or, this is my host machine, so I can't reactivate it. It's already activated. But it'll tell you when it's all done. And when that's done, you should be able to have access to all activated, you know, settings you need to be activated for. Like updates, personalization, and all that. And that was the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Have a good day.